Welcome back viewers to another exciting installment in our series on end-to-end -end big data pipeline. In today's episode, we are delving into a very crucial topic, how to effectively manage scenarios where multiple parquet files find their way into our data lake and reside within the same folder. This situation often arises during the influx of Delta records post Debezium setup, uh, management of Kafka streaming data, or even when leveraging AWS services like DMS. So let's dive right in. Uh, let's explore two pragmatic solutions to address this multi parquet challenge. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Our first solution emphasizes proactive prevention of data accumulation within a single folder. Here is the idea. When you are writing your Kafka code to transfer data to the data lake, consider organizing it in a date-wise folder structure. Rather than allowing all files to congregate in a single folder, arrange them hierarchically within folders categorized by year, month, date, and even hour, like it is showing on the screen. You can flexibly add or remove the hour level folders depending on the data volume. Now, what if data has already piled up in a single folder? In this scenario, our second solution comes to the rescue. We can trigger a Lambda function in Python that goes to source bucket, extracts the data, and neatly organizes it into a separate folder structure based on the date the data was received. Subsequently, the function can remove the data from the original folder. To do this, the first essential step involves creating a role with the appropriate policies attached. These policies will grant the necessary permissions to perform actions such as listing, reading, and writing in both the source and destination buckets. Let us see it in action. Open AWS, go to S3 bucket. Uh, these are the two buckets. The first one, end-to-end -end YouTube data lake, is the source bucket in which multiple parquets are present. And the second one is the destination bucket, which is empty. In the source bucket, we have multiple parquets present in each tables, database, schema name, and see table one. Yeah, so you can see multiple parquets are coming and residing in this folder. And you can see the destination bucket is empty. Now let's create a Lambda role. Go to IAM. In role section, click create roles. Click Lambda. Click create policy. Give these permissions in JSON format. I have attached these permission in description. It includes all list, get, put and delete objects for both source and destination bucket. Give a policy name. Uh, I am giving it as lambda policy to transfer files. And create it. Yeah, so now the policy is created. Again, go to roles, create role, select lambda. Now click the policy you created right now. Uh, give a role name. and create role. Now go to Lambda. Uh, create function. Give any name. Uh, let me give Lambda function transfer files to organized folder. Uh, my code is in Python. Uh, go to permissions, click use and existing role, search for the role you created right now, select role you created right now, and paste this in the function. Uh, now let's understand the code. Import these necessary models, JSON and Boto3. Zone info is necessary as you might need to transfer files based on your local time zone and by default it's UTC. 
you can change accordingly as per your time zone uh, my zone info is asia kolkata give bucket name and target bucket name from where to where you want to copy uh, give prefix as to where you have these parquets in folder uh, similarly give the destination folder prefix initialize the s3 client response will give you list of all object details that is present in that bucket in that prefix folder and last added will fetch you file names and the timestamp in tuple format uh, here we are converting that timestamp in my time zone and we are picking only those files that ends with dot parquet now if this contains any such file we are copying it into the destination bucket in the specified folder in year, month, date and hour section based on timestamp the files came and delete the files from the source side. And that's all. You deploy it and then test it. Uh, give a test event name and test it. It can give error for the first time if you are testing right after deploying. So wait for a few seconds and then test again. Mm, it should work. Yep, it did. It shows data transferred successfully. Let's check our S3 bucket. Go to source bucket. Go inside table one and yeah, all parquets are gone. Let's see destination bucket. See, it has created folders, uh, year, month, date, and hour, inside which you can see all parquets. So that's all I had. And we successfully transferred files from one source bucket to another and categorized it in the year, month, and date format. Thank you for joining me in this insightful video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you are looking to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Medium for more in-depth articles and discussions. And if you are ready to dive in even deeper into this, feel free to explore my GitHub repository where you will find practical code examples and resources to support your journey. Thank you.